been down so long That my mind can't get no rest No, no I've been down so long That my mind can't get no rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail been running so long that my feet don't work no more You a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yeah. You like that one? I like that one too. It's 6 30 in the morning. I just got off work taking Henry for his morning run. This is the M20 from Ingway. It's a cafe racer style electric bike. Up until now I haven't been very familiar with the cafe racers. I'd seen this style. Never given it much of a thought for a couple of reasons. One, these are generally expensive bikes the low end of the cafe racer styles are usually around two thousand um, dollars there's a few hidden gems i'm sure you can find and this one with the single battery at least starts at around thirteen hundred and sixteen hundred for the dual battery setup this one's special to me for a few reasons which we'll get into in a moment but the other reason why i never gave them much thought is because the cafe racer styles everybody who rides them will tell you they're not great for pedaling okay the pedals on these are mostly just for show and legality. Now that being said, the reason why this bike really stands out, being in the low price range of cafe racers, is because it is begging to be modified. And this is probably going to be the first project electric bike I'll have. Um, I'd like to see about beefing up the motor, the speed controller, possibly getting higher voltage battery. If you're interested in the cafe racer style of bikes and you know you want to do some modifications, the M20 from Ingway could probably really stand out simply because it starts low in price for the single battery version, which is what I would recommend getting if you know you're going to modify it. Because if you're going to upgrade the motor, speed controller, and battery, there's no point spending the extra money on the dual battery setup. But you've got a solid frame, decent forks, good rear suspension, I'm pretty sure it's hydraulic because it feels like it um, and just an all-round solid build to work with this is by no means a bike that I would consider super practical don't get me wrong there's no reason why you can't use this as a commuter to go to work school quick trips to the store but it is not at all practical to pedal these cafe racers they're they're low they don't have an adjustable seat so they're small bikes although oddly enough this one comes with really wide they're yeah long cranks not wide long cranks on this which 
you would think would be great for pedaling, but just because of the way the bike's set up, it's really not. But if you're just looking for something that you don't care about pedaling, where you want to whip around, uh, these cafe racers are a joy. So I've only had this bike for about a week. This isn't a review. It's not even my first impressions. I still need to spend some time with it, find everything I like and everything that could use some work. But I wanted to get this kind of teaser video out just because how fun this thing was the first time I took it on a gravel road. Anyways, we're gonna let Henry finish doing his business. I'm gonna get inside, wait for the sun to come up, and then I'm going straight to a trail. <laughs> See you guys soon.